Hello, welcome to this video for the Skoda Superb. This is the 2 litre TDI DSG Auto Paddle Shift Sportliner model. So this vehicle is a 2017 registered vehicle. In the UK it's a 67 reg. I think this was registered in October. October 2017. As you can see, it's the largest model of the Skoda range. The Superb. It's got the privacy glass pike, it has the 19 inch alloy wheels. And just double check. Yep, 19 inch alloy wheels. In very good condition. Let's start on the outside. So we've got the uh, LED daytime running lights or DRLs as they call them. Also got the xenon lights there. As you can see, the xenon bulbs there. It's also got the headlight washers. So they're the headlight washers which pop out and spray jet the, uh, the headlamp glass. So condition, very good condition. Uh, for the mileage, I think 99,000 miles. As you can see, just a few very minor stone chips on the edge of the bonnet, as to be expected, at almost 100,000 miles. It's got this black grille, it's got the uh, adaptive cruise control, the sensor is there in the adaptive cruise. It's got the lower fog lights there as well. Condition of the bumpers are very good. No scratches or scuffs on the edges. Alloy wheels are in A1 condition, recently been refurbished. As you can see, this is obviously the wheel that gets the curbside. Totally unmarked. It's got the Toyo proxy tyres on as well. And if you know tyres, these are really good tyres, expensive as well. Toyo Prox is 19 inch. Okay, so back to the wing mirrors are very good condition. If I've got anything bad to say about this vehicle, it's just here. So if you look at the screen here, you've got a chip there. Obviously it's not in zone A. Zone A means in the driver's view. So that's zone B, which is the passenger's view. So it doesn't really affect the driver's view. But it's there. Um, we've priced the car to sell. It's keen to sell as well. Uh, there's a little tiny one there, ever so slight one there. So yeah, that's about it to report on the vehicle. Other than that, it is very, very good condition. So no dents or scratches on this side at all. All the paintwork seems to be the right colour as well. No different colour panels, no different shades, no scuffs or anything, no rust on the arches. That's it. All the uh, alloys are mint condition. On the rear we've got some Pirelli tyre here, so we've got a Pirelli branded rear tyre. It's the front of Toyos, the rear Pirellis, so branded tyres, not the cheap ones. Rear reverse parking sensors there, as you can see. We've got the two chrome tail exhaust pipes there. We've got the roof here. The roof looks in mint condition, no scratches, no scuffs. Doesn't look like there's been a, a roof bar on there or a roof rack, if you can see. The roof rails, the, these are gloss black roof rails. No scratches or anything. That's the door inside here, the fuel cap. We have got the uh, diesel filler and the ad glue. There's the ice scraper as well there. That's the ice scraper which just lifts out. So it lifts out there, there we go. That's the ice scraper with the rubber to scrape the ice off the uh, windshield. Back to that wing mirror, very clean. No chips or cracks in this screen here at all. Sportline badge there. Okay, let's start on the bike. This is why you're buying an estate, a big one, because of this. Okay, so as you can see, very large boot, large deep boot. So what's in the side here? It's a cubby hole there for some storage space. The 12 volt there. This side, again, a cubby hole there. This uh, parcel shelf is a dual purpose one, or sorry, say a dual, dual, what I say, click. So there. It's set to cover everything and we just press that once and it goes there and you press it again 
and it goes back again. It's got the through load hatch there, so if you've got anything long, you can stick it straight through that hole there. Underneath, we have got a spare wheel. So the spare wheel, as you can see, all the tool kits there, the jack, the brace, and the locking wheel nut as well. It's all dry, no condensation in there. As you expect, the car's just over three years old. So yeah, you wouldn't expect anything out of the ordinary. All this is in good condition. There's no major dents or scratches there. It doesn't look like there's any dog hairs or smells of dogs here. So as we can say, it's not, it's pet free and we, can, we can't smell any smoke either. So inside we've got this lovely carbon fiber trim here. And then the lovely Alcantara door panel. Electric windows to the rear, of course. These uh, lovely Alcantara uh, quilted, quilted leather Alcantara seats here with the uh, Isofix fixing points as well. Uh, the black leather and the uh, silver stitching. So uh, very, very nice. Backs of the seats are very clean. It's got the fitted car mats, the tailored fit car mats there, as you can see. In the back here we've got a clock and a temperature gauge if we pull this down here we've got a cigarette uh well light, well it's not a cigarette lighter it's a 12 volt and also a little bin there as well okay so that's just a little as you can see that's not a cigarette lighter okay there is a full three headrest and three seat belts as well the roof lining's the black color as well so that's good keeps clean and tidy Driver's door, okay, we open the driver's door and here we have the trademark. Uh, the only other car that has this is the Rolls Royce, which is here. You've got the Skoda umbrella. So down here, you pull this out, like so. And there we have the umbrella. Okay, and we slide that back in there. So it's the same on both sides. As you can see, it's a Skoda item with a Skoda badge there. So yeah, on both sides, so the front passenger and the driver's door has got umbrellas. Okay, so the door card, same as the back one, uh, we've got the Alcantara uh, lever here. Uh, we've got four electric windows, electric heated folding mirrors as well, if you look. So you can twist that so the mirrors do fold. Let me just demonstrate that. There we go. And then obviously if we twist that button out again, it folds out okay right all the door shuts are nice and clean as well so the driver's front seat very nice it's a sports seat as you can see and the driver's one has got the three memory setting as well so three memory settings for the driver's seat electric and it's got the lumbar support as well there fully electric so the driver's seat even the base the base backwards and forwards is electric however the, pass, the, the uh, passenger side front one is not electric. So it's got the driver's electric seat. It's quilted again, in very good condition. Let's show you the bolster there. No wear or tear at all on that. Even on the base there, totally immaculate. Uh, very nice condition. Down here, the carpet's very clean. Look down here, very clean. It's got the aluminium foot pedals as well. Okay, in here, you've got a little storage bin here as well. A little card holder there to put your cards in. Uh, automatic lights as well. Uh, flat bottom, but three spoke sports steering wheel. Paddle shift as well. So, paddles there for the uh, negative gear change down and the positive this side. And if you hold that, it takes it out of the uh, paddle. Okay, this side we've got the uh, telephone answering. Uh, and the menu there, the volume there, the next program, left and right, up and down. Down here we have got the cruise control as well. The cruise control button there. Uh, and then what have we got here? Oh, we've got here, the engine stops off. This is keyless. So it's keyless start, this vehicle. We have got two keys. However, one looks like a valet key. So we've got one remote control key. I would both look like remote controls, if I'm being honest. So one's like that. But one's just a valet key and one's a start key, okay? So down here we've got the uh, massive screen, which is I think it's eight or nine inch screen, this. Uh, this has obviously got the uh, sat-nav on. 
Uh, it's also got a, a lot of other features. Let me just close the doors so we can see what it's got. So we go there, we press the menu button. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's have a look. Car, vehicle, status. So it's got a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of features like this here for the mobile phone connections, etc. There's, there's a lot. So uh, let's go back to here as well. So down here we've got this uh, performance button because obviously this is the sporty model. So you press that and up here press that once. It shows you you've got eco mode. You press it again. It goes to the normal mode, which is city driving. You've got a picture there. Sport mode, which is the uh, dual carriageway, stroke motorway, and then individual, where that's the settings. You've got the little nuts and, and what do you call it, the uh, the 10 mils and the 8 mils socket sets. So okay, so uh, very funky and modern, should we say. Down here, you've got this lovely piano black gloss uh, garnish all the way down here. It's in very good condition, very shiny. Uh, it's got the dual zone climate control as you can see left and right temperature settings uh, and you've got obviously the direction of the uh, air etc the DSG box so DSG uh, we've also got if we put it into reverse we've got the reverse parking sensors okay your stop start you've got your auto hold as well when you're up a hill stop the car from rolling backwards so it holds that for about three seconds when you let go of the brake uh, obviously your drinks holder here very good condition very clean and they've got a shutter door as well that's the shutter door and then in the armrest which is a height adjustable armrest so you can have it like that or you can click it up like that so it's nice and stiff lift it up you've got the uh, vent there so if you want to put a couple of cans of pop in there you can you can open the vent there for the air conditioning to blow in so that's good and then uh, yeah that's that's about it nice and clean in the glove box press that button in the glove box you've got the passenger airbag on and off you've got the CD player you've got the uh, SD 1 and 2 card slot and you've also got another air conditioning uh, vent there so you can put your cans of pop in here as well so uh, good news if you like drinking cans of pop okay so we've in our side here we've got the service book um, also we've said papers, we've got the invoices for the services from Skoda, uh, a few of those, the history, uh, we've got the receipt for a gearbox fault, which then this was um, repaired as well in tw December 2019. So yeah, it's just been repaired uh, in 2019. It's got everything to diagnose at Skoda. So Skoda actually replaced the gearbox for this, for this last or previous owner uh, because there was a fault with it. So the gearbox was repaired or replaced a massive cost of I think it was three thousand two hundred pounds it listed so that was replaced so you know the gearbox is only done uh, I think it was done at sixty thousand miles so it's done 99 so it's not done many miles the gearbox that's that's good to know uh, I don't know why they had it replaced but it was replaced so up here you've got the sunglasses holder you've got your SOS obviously most cars now BMWs Audis have got this facility SOS so if you press that it does call the uh, VAG Volkswagen Audi Group um, car emergency hotline so there is a sim card in this vehicle but it only dials to one number the emergency number obviously don't let your kids start pushing the buttons otherwise you, you know when you say you go to the petrol station and you leave your kids in the car if they press that you'll have someone saying what's the emergency they'll think you've broke down okay uh, here we've got the uh, speedo clocks nice classic ones Obviously nice and clear. Let's go to the other side, yeah? So the other side. I'll show you the other side. This door panel. This is the door panel. Very clean. Footwell behind the seats. Very clean. No rips or tears. No smells of cigarettes or dogs. All well, this is clean, all the bin storage, carpet and bin storage but, uh, things there are very clean as well. All down here. So yeah, this door very clean as well. Same again, like I say here, that's the umbrella. So that just pulls out again, same as the other side. As you can see, umbrella. This seat, totally immaculate. Same again, it's a half Alcantara and leather. 
no wear and tear on that one it has got the height adjustment as well and the manual lumbar support there manual lumbar support manual height adjustment and the backrest as well and it's lovely i can tell it under here you have got a storage bin here which you put you usually you put a first aid kit in there so that's the storage and you've got these tailored fit car mats as well there a nice sport line badge there so one last thing to show you is under the bonnet so pull this down here there we go so that's the 2 litre TDI 148 brake horsepower engine or 150 if you want to round it up so 150 brake horsepower engine DSG gearbox got the original battery, uh, the original uh, Skoda stroke VW battery. This car comes with a new MOT and service and it also includes 12 months or one year uh, warranty cover, parts and labour warranty cover as well. Like I said, very keenly priced. The only fault I can fault on this vehicle is the chip in the windscreen. But like I say, it's not in zone A. Zone A is the failure for a uh, MOT. If it's more than a, is it a 10 pence piece or 5 pence piece? Yeah. So it's not in zone A. So there's no chips on the driver's side at all. Just the passenger's view. That's it. Okay, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, if you'd like me to uh, price you up for a part exchange, do not hesitate and get in get in touch with us via email, uh, WhatsApp, text, through the website. Okay, so thank you very much for watching.